I lived in Palestine for seven years, and I came here to Chicago in hopes to get a, you know, an education. And now I'm taking loans out, and with the new bills coming out, with the consolidated loans, I really cannot afford the interest levels. And um, you know, I'm just trying to. I've been planning to go to medical school, and by the time I'm done, I'm going to be three hundred thousand dollars in debt. And we're just frustrated. We, we're tired of these corporations and these bailouts going to these corporations and not the student loans, and they're making cuts on what's important and uh, funding wars, and they forget about the you know the class wars and you know our struggles here. I mean, people have two full-time jobs and try to go to school, and they just can't do it. We're tired. If you could maybe even speak um, a little bit, you yeah. said you were you, you're coming here from Palestine. Yes. Um, how do you feel? You obviously mentioned that wars, taxpayer money is going to fund wars instead yeah. of something like education. Yeah. Uh, if you could maybe even speak about the connection to U.S. Israel funding the occupation of yeah, Palestine. Yeah, of course. And um, you know the funding and now uh, re recent debates with the UN. You know Palestine trying to get statehood. And you know you see the United States vetoing before they even heard the speech of our president. You know. Not fair, and and uh, you know, the United States is the biggest funder of the Israeli occupation currently. And you know, there's just the priorities for the funding are just you know they're going towards the wrong thing, towards war, towards you know. We need to focus on the on the United States and the people here that are struggling, rather than finding democracy in other countries. I mean, our democracy here is being shattered. So you know, try. Thank you. How long have you been out here today? It's day four of occupation Chicago. Uh, I've been here for about six hours. Six hours. I, I came here before the march in about uh, maybe three hours. And then the federal bank here gave us some trouble. We were supposed to start the march a lot earlier. Uh, you know, during lunch time, actually, to just get more attention from people. But, um, you know, they kind of delayed our... We're not going to stop fighting. We moved like they asked. We're peaceful. We're just trying to spread the message. And, um, you know, we're just we're just trying to help everyone else out by letting them know we want as much support as we can, actually. You know, we're fighting for the people, for us, for the people, not these corporations taking over. Thank you so much.